Hey everyone, so we're trying out the Impossible Burger Patties. So these are made from plants. It says right on there. Um, but no antibiotics, 19 grams of protein per serving, uh, gluten-free, so that's pretty awesome. Um, it is 240 calories per patty, and like I said, 19 grams of protein, three grams of fiber, and the only allergen it claims on here is soy, so it is certified gluten-free, halal, um, there's a bunch of stuff on there, but shows less water, everything else. But anyway, point is, Impossible Burgers, we're going to try them out. We are going to pan fry these because you can grill them or pan fry them or basically cook them however you would cook beef. Uh, but it says to cook for about two minutes per side um, or until the internal temperature is 160 degrees. So we are going to throw them on the stove and then we'll check back to show you kind of how they're cooking and what they taste like. We've got like. our patties here. Uh, just uh, going in for a, a smell here, you know, I kind of peeling. And it honestly, I, it kind of smells like a fart. Um, there's a bit of a methane sulfurous odor to it, so I don't know if that's just how they make the, the meatless patties, but hopefully they'll smell better at the end of cooking. <clears throat> they uh, are very uh, mealy, so they kind of come apart, but we'll put a little backing on there. Hopefully they'll cook and come together. see how they crack open and stuff there if you're depending on how you're holding it. I'm gonna check back after we cook these for a while. Alright we've got our uh, impossible burgers here. They've been cooked. Um, you can see they do fry up kind of a nice uh, texture. They've got a, a crispy edge on the outside. Um, you can see in the inside there looks pretty uh, uh, pretty good texture overall. Um, the smell does get a lot better. It's more like a kind of like a peanutty smell, um, kind of roasting peanuts um, overall, but we're gonna go for our first taste here and then see how it is. Uh, no condiments, of course, just the burger. But... It's not too bad, it's definitely not um, what you'd expect with like, if you were expecting a hamburger, it probably wouldn't work out, but um, the textures, uh, decent with the crispy edge um, and then the flavor like I said it, it's definitely got some nuttiness to it um, and it's uh, it's not a bad flavor it's a good flavor it's just it's not a hamburger flavor so um, overall I'd, for the price comparison to beef I'd probably get beef but um, it isn't a bad product I definitely need to get.